Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a crucial security feature on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone that you need to configure properly. This security feature also gives you a bird's eye view of what's happening with your smartphone, which apps are tracking your location, which apps have access to your camera, which apps have access to your microphone, and all that crazy stuff. So let's dive in and get started right away. I'm going to show you guys the details in this video. So what you want to do is first and foremost go to the settings okay and then once you're in the settings scroll down to where it says apps you're going to click the apps right here and once you're there you can tap on this icon on, on the corner the three dots and i want you guys to go into the permission manager now if you cannot find the permission manager this way what you can do is you can simply search for it on the top just type in permission manager and it's going to show up as you can see it is also under security and privacy. You can go to security and privacy and under privacy, you can also access the permission manager. So once we are in the permission manager, here's what you want to take a look at quickly. So I'm going to give you a quick example. So you can see here's the camera application and it says 17 of 66 apps are allowed to access my camera. So that could be trouble. Okay, so what you'd want to do is you want to go in here. So we're in here and here's what you want to take a look at. So let's just scroll down a little bit. It says that the Chrome application, which is the Google Chrome browser, has access to my camera and it is allowed to access my camera when it is in use. So when I launch the Chrome application, it instantly gets access to use my camera as it pleases. Now I'm not saying it's gonna just spy on you, but it does have that capability to use your camera anytime it needs to. So what you might wanna do is you might wanna click on it and you might wanna change that option to ask every time. So that means when I launch Chrome, if there's a website that is gonna to try to access my camera, it's gonna actually ask me to give it permission instead of just having the permission while Chrome is active, okay? Now, other things over here, I'm gonna show you one more example. If I scroll down, look at the messages. So again, messages have access to my camera, which makes sense. Sometimes I wanna share a photo with somebody and I can access my camera directly from my messages application. But again, you might not want that, okay? So what you can do is you can, again, ask every time or you can just say, don't allow. If you don't allow, then the message application simply is not going to have permission to access my camera. Let me show you a quick example here. So I'm going to say ask every time. I'm going to say don't allow anyway. Okay. Make sure you just read the warnings when they pop up. And I'm going to message here. This is just a fake message. Look at this. If I tap on this icon here that says gallery, I'm going to tap on it and I get that prompt. It tells me do you want to allow messages to take pictures and record video? So if I want to use that feature for that particular time, I can say only this time, or I can say while using the application. So that's going to give it permission while it is using the application. The camera is right here. I can take a photo. It, it looks black right now because it is sitting on the table, as you can see, okay? But that gave it permission. But like you just saw, I was able to modify that from here, but it went back to here because that's what I chose. But I can just say, ask every time, okay? Now look at this. Again, I'm gonna go back to messages, tap on the camera icon, and it's not available as you can see. I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna say, do you want to allow them to take photos and record video? I can also, also say, only this time, okay? That keeps it secure, and I get that prompt every single time. So that's what happens with camera. That's just one example, okay? When you go to the camera, that's what happens. You can change the permissions. That's why it's called the permissions manager. But if, of course, if you scroll down, you can say, see location and microphone. So let's look at the microphone. What applications have access to my microphone and in what capacity? So nobody is allowed to access my microphone all the time, which is very important. If you see anything here, just click on it and change it to some other uh, setting. But if I scroll down, it looks like Android Auto can use my microphone while it is in use. So can my camera. 
so can my Google, so can Home, okay? So these are the way I set these things up so they can work properly. But again, I can click on any one of these guys, Instagram, I can just say don't allow Instagram to access my microphone, which also means you're not gonna be able to use Instagram to record video with voice, okay? But you can do ask every time if you wanna keep it nice and secure. Now, these are just low level examples. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what's happening here. You can actually dig in and look at uh, apps that look fishy, that you don't want having access to your microphone and change it at will. For example, the voice recorder, it needs to have access to your microphone to record your voice so you can do allow only while using the application, but some other applications don't need that capacity. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Again, let's go back to permissions manager. Uh, let's just look at location. So what locations have access to my data all the time, my location all the time? So Android system intelligence has that access. Uh, Google has this access, which I guess makes sense. Uh, modes and routines have that access and weather has that access. So by having this access, weather can refresh depending on my location at any given time. But if you don't want that, you can tap it and you can just say, allow only while using the app. So when I go into the app, that's the only time it is able to access my location, okay? So just to give you an idea of what's happening with your phone, uh, it's a really nice little menu that they made. It's called Permission Manager. And basically all kinds of sensors on your phone can give access to apps. And from here, you can basically control all that stuff as needed. Look at this, even physical activity can be tracked by your phone and applications. So Air Command and Bixby Voice have access to my physical activity. It knows when I'm walking, when I'm biking, when I'm driving, and that's not a problem, okay? But again, if you see anything fishy that's not supposed to be here, you click on these guys and you just say don't allow or allow based on your needs, alrighty? For example, this application here, I don't use this application anymore, so I can uninstall the application, I can just say don't allow, which is already uh, set that way, as you can see, all right? So fantastic little area to get yourself familiarized with, all right? If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.